I'm just going to sneak in here and add a little more of this caramel sauce. Because I think it should really get caramelized in. And just remember, just for your information, it's in the cookbook. And this is not made from caramel or white sugar. So get that cookbook. Get these recipes because these recipes are completely their own wonderful caramel sauce recipe. Caramel sauce. Delicious. And the funny thing about it is it does have some nutrients that are commonly found in meat. So this may give the greater sensation overall of the old-fashioned experience of a texture and a nutrient that we're used to eating along with this flavor. Maybe it's a good thing, maybe not. We will see. After this caramelizes and cooks, now I'm cooking these on 350 and they'll be on there for a little bit. Pop them in the oven. Okay, after about eight minutes, eight minutes of cooking gives us light golden edges. And they are ready for pan frying at this point or storing and cooking later. Let's see, we can always taste one. So, texture, flaky, and the sauce, mm. perfect, it almost tastes like barbecue sauce, because of the lemon pepper, combining with the Wow, with that caramel sauce. And um, that would probably make a really good barbecue sauce there. You just need to store them and use them within three days. So don't make too many. This much bread was probably just a day's um, just a cup of wheat. So really not much there. Mm. But you've got to try this. Get in the kitchen. Make up some field roast mock meat. And this is just some scraps I had. Mmm. I just cooked it in there with the caramel sauce. Yeah, that is so amazing. Lots of texture.
And here it is. This is it. Nice and nice. The ultra tender. Amazingly savory steaks. My field roast 